Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with respect for cheating, got doing it, because yeah. we're going to get right into it. Love and Marriage Huntsville. Huntsville. Major shout out to all of the people that came over from Huntsville, Alabama yeah. on the last recap that we did. We actually thought last week we were going to go into another episode, a new episode, but yeah. they just it showed a, a repeat. A repeat, so we haven't seen y'all in a couple weeks, but we're going to get right into this thing. This thing carried over from last week <laughs> at the dinner table where Melody was pretty much putting her husband's skit out on Front Street yeah. in front of all the people that kind of had heard that there was some skit going on, but nothing had ever really been confirmed, right? So you got, what's her name, Letitia and Marcel over at their house, and they like, you know, what the hell is going, over there, going on over there at the Holt residence? Have you heard anything about what's going on? Mm -hmm. Nah, I ain't heard nothing about nothing. You know, there's been rumors around town, but nothing has really panned out to be factual so yeah it is what it is so then you got maurice over there him and kimmy are talking about it and they were like you know no really don't know what's <laughs> going on right here and his definition of respectful cheating was the only way it's respectable if it's all of us it's a threesome <laughs> yeah we all agreed on it together <laughs> swapping fluids because other than that cheating is Freaking disregard on respectful. Mm -hmm. And I agree. There's no respect for cheating. Yeah, but I, I understood what they were trying to say. Yeah. There are some people that can cheat and it's not in your face. It's not with someone that's close to you. You know, yeah. it's not something that you have to face head on every time you turn around. Or, and they, then or you, they live in Hawaii. Like, that, like or they Mark. live in Hawaii, you know. <laughs> or they do like a Kevin Hart in the hotel room. Bam, bam, bam. You know. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I'm gone. And then you have some people that just don't give a rat's egg. Mm -hmm. They'll sleep with your neighbor. They'll sleep your with best your friend, cousin. Your best friend. Your, yeah, your sister. Yeah. And then you ready to kill both of them. So you, you got to got the disrespect. Then you got the disrespectful. But you got to circle both of them. Is disrespectful, like Mike well, B said. Yeah. <laughs> so all the wives are looking at their husbands like, y'all mean to tell me, y'all boys, and y'all don't know nothing about what's going on in his life like that. And yeah, we was, they was like, nah, I heard, but you know, I ain't going off of speculation, and which I can appreciate. Yeah. That. And men don't move like that. Like females, if I hear that my girl is cheating, I'm in yeah. her business. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell going on? You know, I'm fact checking. Guys be like, you you good? Hey, bro. Oh, okay, and they leave it alone. Mm -hmm. But like uh, Marcel has said, he was like, if that dude can cheat on his wife, he can keep a secret from his boys. So why would you think that we would yeah. know something like this? And I said, you know what? As much as I don't really like how you move, he makes a whole lot of sense yeah. in certain situations. And he was saying, we doing this comeback group. And we still need both hopes because yeah. we can't do this without the both of them. So we need to confront uh, Martel and ask him what the hell is going on. Yeah. And hope that he would tell us what's mm. going on and not try to hide like he's been doing, like everything is all right. So this is what really was like, okay. Because we're still at a point where we're like, did he do something? Yeah, because it kept talking in riddles. Or did he not do something? Yeah. So over there at the house, you have him and Melody talking, and he was like, listen, what you're not going to do is put stuff out there on Front Street like I did something. And she's looking at him like, but nigga, you did yeah. something. <laughs> but he's looking at her, talking to her like, what you don't do is plant seeds in other people's head. And make them think And make them going. think there's something going on. Well, we over here good. But she looking at him like... like we not but, good. But yeah, you 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 so, did do something. <laughs> so I mean, I'm looking. I'm like, so is Melody making all this? Like, is she living in her own head? Yeah. Like, is something going on with her? I was her? super confused. I was super confused until Marcel was like, you know what? Because they was out on a job site together, and he decided he was gonna confront him head up. He was like, you know what? What was that skit about at the table? Yeah. What is going on? Did you do something? He said, listen, I had a situation. About a year ago. It started at a year. Yeah, then it, it went a to year, a year, year and a half. <laughs> and he was like, but we good. We working through it. You know, he, he really kept it real. Surface. Surface. Yeah, real surface. So then Marcel got on the phone with his goddamn brother Maurice. It was like, listen, dog. 
We need to have a meet. <laughs> we, need to, we need to have, we need to chop this out because something made right. And now at this point, this is a business relationship. This is yeah. money. And what we not going to do is come back together. To only get split apart again over some more booze kit. Yeah, that y'all not trying to tell us. And I heard what he was saying. We not trying to get in your business, but now we are business partners. partners so yeah. your business really is my business at this point. Because if y'all <laughs> So like like um like Pastor Bradley said today, if you coming into this relationship or business thing with a, with a, a bag, bag I got the opportunity that I need to look and see what's in your bag. And choose whether or not I want to be here. Exactly. So that's what you're saying. I want to look in that bag. So when all the guys got together. See, I like Maurice. Maurice has a way of busting you up, mm -hmm. patting you on your back, smoothing it all over all at the same time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So he was like, cut the skit. What, what happened? What happened? What happened? Well, come to find out. And see, this is what gets on my nerves about Martel. Martel is still acting as if what he did... Ain't a big deal. Isn't a big deal. Yeah. He's saying, you know, I had this situation with this lady for about a year. Mm -hmm. And then he got down to spinning the story all the way down to when Melody found out about it. She was at the house. Mm -hmm. Her mother was at the house. Yep. Was her mother his mother? Her, her mother. Her mother was there. Was at the house. The lady was doing disrespectful Calling. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, not only did you cheat on your wife, she's finding out. She's finding out in front of her mother. mama. So, that's a whole nother scenario mm -hmm. that's on the table. And when Melody found out, he didn't break it off right away. Yeah. He He's, still messed with her for a few more months. Months? Yeah. A few more, few more months. But, I was thinking like... He probably would still be even cheating now if Melody never answered that phone. Oh, definitely. Yeah, so he definitely. really didn't change because, you know, I got a good thing with my wife. This is wrong. I need to change. I'm going to go admit to her that I done messed with this woman for a whole year or however long. I it was <laughs> it longer was. than a year. And you, you admit to it, but it's different when you get caught and you got to fix it. So that kind of plays into why she's so insecure and that everything that he do, it's a truth. it looks like, He's cheating. Yeah. Yeah. So while he's telling the story about what led him into having an affair, well, he, he didn't want to call it an affair. Let's, let's go ahead and let's go there. <laughs> he said, Melody calls it an affair. No, 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 baby. If you're still having a relationship with this person three months after your wife has found out, yeah, that's, that's, still that's an emotional. Yeah. That's no longer just about the sex because we know men can stick that thing in anybody and, 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 move, and, on. and move on. It's he, not he, emotional. He fell that. in love. That's yeah. what happened. He so fell in love. He's still continuing to go to the same hole three months after his wife found mm -hmm. out. That's emotional. Yeah, he got feelings now. Yeah. And should his wife feel some kind of way after Takat doing loot lit? Now, his reasons. Now, I can go with the reason because if, you look, if you look at stats, that the number one reason that men cheat. It's because sex does decline in marriages and relationships after a while. And men sometimes want to still get some. Not saying that it's right, but that's yeah. what that's what that's what happens. But when he said she stopped talking to me on the phone, I was like, well, you know, that's not that's really not our thing. As far as, you know, commu yeah. most of the time communication thing is, is with women. It's like, you don't ever want to talk to me. You don't ever want to sit down and, and see how I feel and da 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 But I was like, really? I'm talking on the phone. Talking on the phone? But now, here's the thing. I didn't mean to cut you off. Nah, that's good. Here's the thing about it is, at a very young age, they decided they were going to get together. They knew, they pretty much had a blueprint for what they wanted their lives to be. Mm -hmm. and how they were going to get there, which took a lot of sacrifice, hard work, mm -hmm. and a lot of sacrifice in the relationship department. Yeah. So now that Melody is out there doing what she has to do to grind and to make sure that Holt and Holt it's is good. what it is today, uh -huh. the moment that she is out there doing it so that you all can live this life that you have envisioned and dreamed of, now, now, you're, you're, now you're in your feelings. You can't, <laughs> you can't handle her not being right underneath you, like, like right before. next to you, like mm -hmm. she was before. 
But you know what she doing though. Yeah. Cause cause it was, uh, I think it was Maurice uh that was saying, wait a minute. So you said you cheating while she out there working? What happened to the fifty fifty thing you telling us about? No, that was Marcel. Yeah, Marcel, what about the fifty 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 thing you telling us about? You know what? He said, I'm done. I don't want to hear nothing else. I'm done. And and in his defense, we don't agree with how Marcel treats his wife when it comes to the fact that he really just wants her bad footed pregnant and in the house and just making sure that the family is good. But in an instance like this, where you have somebody like him looking at a situation that's totally different than how yeah. he runs his household and you on this side of the fence telling him that how he's handling his household is wrong, but his yeah. household seems to be doing good. Yeah, he good. Good compared to the booski you got, got going, going on over there. Yep. When you say, this is how a marriage should be. Exactly. So he's looking at you like, oh, I'll keep my skit the way that it is with my yeah, wife say, forget what you talk in the about. house <laughs> doing what I know, you know, I know where she is. We have great communication. Mm -hmm. They probably have really great sex and the kids is good. Yep. We ain't got all them problems going on. She may want to go out there and do a little something, 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 but at this rate, you mean to tell me that if your wife was out there doing a little something, something, trying to get y'all skit together, mine go out there. Should I be questioning my skit? Uh, yeah. Cause that's how he was looking at like, no, no. I'm good. <laughs> Good. Yep. But I appreciate I appreciate the bros coming straight at him though. Not talking behind his back, uh -huh. but coming straight at him to find out what's going on. So I hope that the the bros will help him work through that. I don't even know if the, if their relationship is even gonna last because Melanie is is but she Melanie acting out. as if something just happened like months ago, not a year or year and a half ago. So But I, I could answer that though, because but, later on we found out because she actually, well, let's go ahead and move forward with the, with the conversation. It came time for Kimmy's bridal shower. And Letitia actually put this bridal shower on, you know, cute, simple to the point. I saw a whole lot of kids, which I didn't understand, but Melody didn't show up. Mm -hmm. So now, see, here's the thing. Females, I'm not saying that it's right, but I am saying this. We know how to play along to keep people out of our business where we don't want them in our business. Mm -hmm. Melody did that skit very calculated because she knew that if she didn't show up over there at Kimmy's shower, that Kimmy and Letitia was going to be like, there really is something going, going on, on over at yeah. the house. We just had this dinner. Now, I don't know the time from the time span between the dinner and this, but you know how storylines are. They make yeah. it look like it's the next day. Exactly. But you know that they already got a seed of, hmm, what's going on in that house? Yeah. You and then, mm -hmm. this is an intimate moment, a very special moment for Kimmy. Get ready to get married. They've been um, messing around for seven years. Mm -hmm. And you didn't show up. Yeah. So you know that they're going to be putting two and two together to add that mm -hmm. up to make four. And then they're going to put a bonus question on it. And it's going to be five yep. by the time it get back to you. She did that on purpose. But she over there talking to her mother-in-law. And I said, that's interesting. Hmm. Now, I love my mother-in-law. My, me and my mother-in-law are really, really tight. But if there was something going on between me and her son... You don't think you'd go confide in her? Hell no. <laughs> because there's a bias there already. Now, let, I, now I would say this. If, if you and my mama had a relationship whereas she never took my side, she was like, she always go for what's right. Yeah, but your mother and, does. Yeah, go with right. I can see you go and talk to her then because nope. she's gonna give it to you straight. But like she did, she didn't tell the mama tell uh, Montel's mama that he cheated. So she did shield her from that. But her mama, so, did mama know? Yeah, she probably know. You know, mm -hmm. she you know read between the lines. But yeah, if, if y'all had a relationship, I, I could see you doing that. I could see you doing it, but it's still very. You ain't got nobody else you can talk to. I don't see your mama. <laughs> Your mama know what's going on in hell. It happened in front of face. <laughs> she found out what you found out. But she brought up a good point, though, is why she couldn't have that with um, Letitia them versus his mama law since they supposed to be good friends. Yeah. Or are they? Yeah. So this, that is my question, too. Are they as close as they're trying to make it seem on camera? Or are they just, they have a sisterhood, but it's more business than it is sisterhood? Mm -hmm. Like, that or, would explain a lot. Or they, or, or they just building a storyline to keep us going. Yeah, and then a whole bunch of people <laughs> from Alabama was like, I hope that this doesn't taint their image because yeah, they have yeah. a really good image in exactly. their community, in their neighborhood. Exactly. And my answer to that is, yeah, it is. 
I mean, it is. And once you put all your skin on the front street, yeah. stuff happens. But but don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Right. Because yeah. look at the married to medicine people. Yeah. They ain't ain't nothing stopped. Yeah. Matter of fact, they probably got more clientele because of it. Because everybody <laughs> likes to feel a part of something that's moving, that's exciting, that has yeah. a little bit of drama. Exactly. So, now, don't even worry about it. They're yeah. still going to be good after yeah. that. So, so the people in Huntsville, yeah, don't don't discredit them, everything that they done done for y'all's community based upon they gonna be what's going on in their marriage because, yeah, they're going to be fine. Yeah, so they still good people. Um, for what y'all saying in the comments, they all making a difference. People look up to them, respect them. and said Melanie be doing some speaking. Mm -hmm. So, it seems like they're making a difference. They just they just got problems like everybody else. Yeah. And but except for they're just on TV now. Yeah. <laughs> and to be honest, Melody probably won't be the one that takes a hit. It would probably be her husband. Yeah. He because probably, yeah. she's just, she's reacting mm -hmm. to stuff that he's did. Now, his pattern changed up. He started going to the gym at night. Mm -hmm. We know somebody was going to the gym at night. And they got a whole he, baby he was, over the side. He was lifting weights <laughs> and lifting weights. Put the two together. <laughs> and had a whole baby over the side. <laughs> oh, God. Um, not saying if your man going to the gym at nighttime lifting weights and working out on me, he cheating. No, don't, don't, don't take that. Don't take that back to him. Make him back. <laughs> just, just, just drive around to the gym. And just see, see me at the gym. That's all and you got to do. Go back home and get back in the bed. Don't even worry about it. So, um... What, he going to Home Depot, dressed up? Now, I was like, that, no. That ain't really a thing. But, but, but when you don't trust somebody, everything, all, is, everything factors in. You know, you go to the bathroom, there's a bee in there. <laughs> you take your phone in the bathroom. Oh, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Why are you taking your phone yep. out here? So, it's just a whole lot. So, what else that happened? So, it seemed like Melody is going to try to move forward. In her marriage, which I think they'll be fine. I really yeah, I do think, think they'll they be fine. Yeah. And she met Martel over there at the park. And he had the kids, you know, spending quality time with the kids. I was still trying to figure out why the kids were dressed up like they just came from Easter service. <laughs> but that's not my business. And he decided he was going to present her with some flowers. And that still hand, had the price tag on it. And a handwritten card. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that though. And, effort. and he was saying that, yeah, I like <laughs> stuff like that too. Yeah. And he was saying, you know, you always told me no Louis, no da 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 the way to the heart is flowers and something from the heart, which I can appreciate. Mm -hmm. But in her confessional, she was like, He always do this. I've been here like, before. <laughs> and I said, So is this what he does after he's done something? Or when you start to feel a way? I mean, I have so many questions. Mm -hmm. Melody, I need to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm trying to figure out where are the triggers coming from. Are the triggers just coming because you think that something else is going on? Like yeah. you, you really think something's going on? Or anytime he moves differently. Mm. Yeah, you know, something. Yeah, you change it up. Yeah. Because I'm trying to figure out how was he able to hide the cheating for a whole year? Yeah. Cause because it looks like they're real busy. They got the business going on at night. They got kids. They got to take care of each other. He going to gym. I'm pretty sure she going to gym. I don't know when she going. How how did you find time to do that? And has she doing that whole year? I'm pretty sure she had some speculations. That's probably why the sex stopped. Cause he yeah. said the sex stopped. See, she stopped having sex. So obviously she was picking up on something was going on. Yeah, because and she shut stop, him out. That's usually what it yeah, is. Yeah, she like, shut him out. Yeah. Once that emotional. Mm. But. <sighs> I told my husband while I was sitting there that something just didn't feel right to me and I could be reaching. <laughs> but y'all remember when they were out there at that job site and that lady showed up. Oh, what yeah, was they, her name? Alicia? Oh, uh, the architect. Yeah. Alicia Ashley, whatever her name was. Even Marcel was like, huh? How you know her? Oh, me and her husband and then we were real cool and da 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 da. And then to hear Mr. Martell still say that he still has a ongoing yeah, a little bit of communication, communication going on with, this with girl. the person that he cheated on. Is it her? Hmm. Is it her? I guess we'll find out. I want to know. I yeah. want to know, is it her? Because that would fit the bill. Because it would fit the bill because you would think that everything... To me, it has to be someone in the same business because them being together would be justified. You yeah. know, they always because together because they're doing work. Doing this, yeah. 
So, but if you just meet somebody that work at the local Target. <laughs> yeah, what time? Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole. It got to be somebody that's that's right in the middle of the business. That's why I, I, I thank the Lord that I ain't never been a cheater. I never been a cheat. I, I just I just watch people the energy and the deception and the time and the effort that goes into hiding all that skit. I don't got the energy for that, man. You ain't hit midlife crisis yet, man. I, 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 sometimes using, I feel like it. Usually that skit starts when people hit midlife crisis. Man, they think they're cute. They go buy a car. They too I big think for. I think I would ask you for a threesome first before I go through all of that. <laughs> And that's too, that's too much hide, man. I might be down. <laughs> I, I know I will get caught. I mean, we busy. Yeah. No. I know I will get... Well, I don't even see where I would be able to fit that in there. No, because we know where... We yeah, know. I wouldn't even know where to fit it in there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've been married for 16 years. Yeah. And literally, yeah. if and he's not right here, something years. Yep. I know exactly where he is. Mm -hmm. And I mean, same for you. I know where you are. He knows where I'm at at all. Even when we're not together. Yeah. Like, there's like a five so most, mile radius. Yeah, most time, most time we apart. You know, I'm gonna get my hair cut. You gonna get your nails done, or you know, your feet done, or something like that, or something going on. You know, yeah, where I'm hanging out yeah. with somebody. Well, I mean, yeah, but even know. then, I'll go to go to barber shop get my hair cut. If I come back, I don't have no hair cut. <laughs> where the hell you been? <laughs> and if your hair cut was two and a half hours well, you, long, I'll be like, yeah, like. Now we know you sit at the barber shop for a long time, so she can almost know like if I go, you know. To well, your my cousin, cousin, my cousin, she know that's gonna be at least two hours. <laughs> I say you, you a good one. <laughs> but he do it, he do the bomb job. That's why I do it. Yeah, but y'all get down in the comments and y'all let me know one. <clears throat> who do y'all think he cheated with? And it mm -hmm. may not even be Alicia, but do you think it is someone in the business? I'm pretty sure it is. It got to be. And then two, do you think that Melody's reaction is just? reactions is it triggers or do you really think he's doing something else hmm. i don't know i think it's his patterns i think the patterns the too. patterns are still triggering emotions but yeah let's get that in the comment section and we're gonna get the conversation on popping shout out to carlos king he he came through on um the instagram and the twitter yeah I'll see you make sure you um hit me up I'm going to charge you for this review. No, I'm yeah. just <laughs> Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.